thank you for returning to my channel my name is Yasmin and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much I appreciate y'all and if you're new here and you just scrolled across my video thank you for clicking on my video because that just tells me it was something um, about my video you may be interested in so today's video we're going to be trying three different Cabernets as you can see I've already started drinking two because I love Cabernet it's my favorite type of wine and we're just gonna be trying these wines. I'm gonna give you my opinion on them. No, I'm not a wine expert or a sommelier as of yet, but we're on the road to get there. But if you want to stay and enjoy this video with me and even try some of these wines for yourself, then continue watching and let's figure out my opinion. So with the Cabernet. The Cabernet wine is a very popular wine. It's probably like between Cabernet and Chardonnay, I think the Cabernet is the most popular red wine there is and the Chardonnay is the most popular white wine. So, with the Cabernet, some distinct flavors that you guys will have with the Cabernet, um, it can have like a woody smell, it can smell like tobacco a little bit, um, kind of like some vegetables, they say like a lot of green bell pepper and then berries, dark berries, raspberry, black cherry, and I don't know if all that sounds good together, but I like it because of the alcohol, I guess. Um, it, it will get you buzzed really fast, in my opinion. So if you're a lightweight, I do suggest one glass, and one glass is usually six ounces, like that's a restaurant pour. But if you're pouring at home, let's see, I have some already poured here. I'll say if you're gonna drink one glass, I'll say fill it up to about there, and by the time that glass is over with, you are going to feel good. You may be laughing. If you're upset, you know, it's alcohol. It enhances whatever mood you're in. So, please don't drink depressed, you guys. We're not gonna do that. We don't enhance those type of moods. We speak positivity, and we let that go, okay? So, another thing I wanted to just point out is um, this aerator I got from I'll do you guys, I, when I first saw this, oh it's wet, I have some water. When I first saw this, it was like $15 and I didn't get it. But the lady at Aldi told me they mark things down that they have on sale from previous weeks ago um, on a Wednesday. So if they still have any inventory. And I got this for $4.99 and I have a whiskey decanter as well. I got that one for $4.99 and I think it goes really good. I don't know if you guys can see my marble and wood tray and it has gold on it as well as this decanter thingy so i just thought this was really cute and i'm going to be trying out the 19 crimes in here so let's get into the tasting part okay first up is our 19 crimes one thing about 19 crimes is that i have tried the snoop dog wine and i really liked it but I've never tried the Cabernet. And I do keep my Cabernet in the fridge and I just let them sit out a little bit before I start drinking. So we're gonna pour this into the decanter. We're gonna pour it from the top first. I'm gonna put some air in it. How cute. And then we're just gonna pour it back into our glass. And it's supposed to enhance the smells and the wine, the flavors, and let us really taste it. So you can see we add a lot of, um, is it carbon CO2, is that it? We added some in here, so that's why we have these bubbles. But Cabernet is definitely a darker color. It reminds me like, like of blood, you know, like vampire blood or that fake blood you have at Halloween. So that's what color I get from this one. And then when I look at the wine, um, I do see like a clear ring around it, so it may have a very high alcohol, alcohol content. Now let's see what it actually is. 14%. So that's considered pretty high on the wine end. So let's go ahead and take our first sip. No, our first smell. Mmm, I smell more fruit in this one off top. Ugh. I think this did it. I love this. So I smell more cherries in it. Um, I don't smell too much of the bell pepper smell or the vegetable smell. 
but I smell something soft, so that may be the vanilla. So let's go ahead and taste it. Okay. In 19's Primes, it is an Australian based wine. So it's from Southern Eastern Australia. Okay, so my mouth initially, after my first sip, it feels dry. And it doesn't have a very strong lingering effect on my tongue. I can still taste it at the kind of back of my tongue, the bitterness. Um, I think it's really not too harsh of a wine, not too bitter. Um, I feel like it has a medium to softer tannins in it. I feel like the body is definitely heavier on this wine. And with taking small sips, I do think it is a very nice Cabernet. It's not as strong as some Cabernets you taste. So I'll say it's in like a medium range for the Cabernets, definitely with the tannins and the acidity in the wine as well. And yeah, it does make my mouth dry. So I, I think it's a very okay Cabernet. I would definitely recommend this one. So now we're going to move on to our next one. Water break in between. So if you can see, this is the Castle Rock Winery Cabernet Sauvignon 2017. It's from Gaysville, California. Can you see how much wine is in this bottle? I might as well pour it all out, but I don't know if I want to. I think that's a pretty good pour, but this is how much is left. I've been drinking this bottle since my birthday, which was Tuesday, and I like this wine. This Castle Rock is a good, it's a good Cabernet, that's all I'm gonna say. So I rinsed this out, and I'm just going to pour this in here. I haven't actually had it out of this aerating decanter yet, but I'm excited to see what it's going to taste like. Ooh. Now for our smell taste. Mmm, this is a very fruity wine. The color isn't as dark as the glass wine. Okay, I smell vegetables in here. I can kind of smell a little dirt too. So I initially got like green bell pepper. I definitely did get a green bell pepper smell in here. And that's my first time using this for this wine and I've been drinking this for this whole week, you guys. So let's taste it. but it has a bolder impact on your tongue when you first drink this wine. It's way stronger than the 19 Crimes right there. I will tell you that. But it is a very good wine. And I'm kind of swishing it in my mouth. I kind of taste a little like wood for the oak of the barrel. But I like it. I just like it. So this is one of my favorite uh, Cabernets. I think I'm just going to keep this one here on stock at the house. I think this was from $13 from Siegel's, but I do like this wine. Um, I recommend you want a good Cabernet. And I've ate, eaten this, excuse me, I've eaten this with some, um, what was I eating? I was eating uh, a very heavy Alfredo pasta dish that I've eaten this with, as well as I made shrimp stir fry lo mein and it was the bomb. It's a little spicy now, so don't make your food too hot, but this is good, and I also enjoy this late at night with nuts, fruit, and cheese. I also, let me just say this, I also drink a lot of water. If I'm not drinking wine, I'm drinking And cleansing my palate in between really helps me as well. So, this little aviator here came with the um, wine cork remover that I got off of Amazon. 
So I already poured some Robert Mondave. This is his private selection, California Sauvignon, California. Cabernet Sauvignon, California, 2019. I also poured some of this in here. Um, I actually picked this one up from a liquor store out in Louisiana. It was on sale for $9.99. As you guys know, I try to keep these wines affordable because I do at least two to three bottles per week. And this week was my birthday and I did purchase a Black Girl Magic Sparkling Wine. It's a group. I haven't opened that yet, but I'm definitely going to make a video on that one. I'm excited or I don't know how I'm going to do a photo shoot with it. I'll see how I want to do with my content. But... Um, let's go ahead and get right into this one. I did just make a TikTok for this one. But I just ate it. I just ate it. Hopefully it's saved. Oh god. Anyway, anyway, um, let's go ahead and smell it. Just thinking about that makes me nervous. Hmm. Okay, so it's sweet as well. So I'm definitely when I say sweet, I guess I'm smelling the black cherry or the, yeah, probably the black cherry smell that's distinctively in Cabernet Sauvignon. Not too vegetable-y, vegetable not too much, not too vegetable smelling. Is that a word? Can we make it one? <laughs> Let's taste it. Okay. Oh, not bad at all. Okay, this one has really low acid, really low tannins in it. My mouth isn't as dry. Mm. It's not too bitter. This is a sweeter tasting Cabernet. I think I like this one the best, Robert. And I've been over here drinking Castle Rock this whole week when I should have been drinking Robert. Oh my gosh, so look. Yeah. I like Robert the best. It isn't as strong. Let's see how much alcohol is in here. 13.5% alcohol. It's not as strong, but now it's the fun part where we're just going to compare them all. It's just our taste. All right, when I'm looking at the colors, um, they're about tip for tat. I just guess the Robert, because I have less in the glass. I don't want to pour it anymore because I have to go shopping after this. But they're all about tip for tat on the color spectrum. Definitely Castle Rock and 19 Crimes. So I'm gonna compare Robert and 19 Crimes right now. Mm. Definitely more overpowering, definitely stronger, definitely lighter. Robert wins that challenge. If you like the lighter Cabernet and you don't want it too strong. I really can't tell the difference. I really can't tell the difference between those two, which is crazy, or probably not. I do recommend that you guys try them, or just buy all three, if you want to do like your own little wine flight test or sample or anything like that. Or maybe this may be good for um, a game night or a wine night, but for foods, this Cabernet will be really good with a pizza. <laughs> It got cheese on it. It probably has some greasy, salty salami on it. And then like a very, would you like thick crust or do you like thin crust? I'll do Chicago deep dish with this, honestly. I really like these wines, but like I said, like um, hearty Alfredo pasta with some shrimp, um, a good steak. I did have a Cabernet just the other day and I had like some duck fried rice with it. So Asian food, um, American food, definitely Italian food will definitely go good with all three of these, any type of steaks. Um, I did not eat my um, fish. I did have a fish one day this week, but I didn't eat it with the Cabernet because I'd rather have a white wine with the fish. 
But I do like it. I believe it goes with um, definitely heartier foods. But Cabernet is one of the most popular wines, y'all. I did pick up popular brands that you can find anywhere locally. Like I said, I'm in Texas, and a lot of things I got from Seagulls. But this one came from a wine store, international wine store out in Louisiana. But I definitely see these in Albertsons as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and another video part of the Red Series of Cabernets. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. If you've tried these wines, let me know what you think about them. Um, and I guess I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you. Make sure you like my video, comment so other people can find this video, um, share this video with people you may know who are looking for a good wine suggestion. Hope to see you again returning for my next video, you guys. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.